building a better world for us means to change the, the people's life. How do we do that? How we achieve that is through microfinance, through in, uh, economic infrastructure, through governance, through providing health, uh, through sanitation, uh, through providing uh, potable water. Uh, that's for us to build a better world. To, at the end, to improve the living conditions, in this case of the Ghanaian people, but also throughout the world. CHF is an international development organization serving more than 20 million people each year, empowering them to improve their lives and livelihoods for a better future. CHF International has been operating in Ghana since 2007 in poor slum communities in Accra and Sekendi Takradi, focusing on improving living conditions in the slums. Mr. Alberto Wild is the country director for CHF International Ghana. Our mission is to be a catalyst. Uh, we work, as I said before, in all five continents, in countries where uh, there is natural disasters, uh, where it's uh, post-war and there are conflicts. It's not the, the case of Ghana, but in the case of Ghana we're working basically on the improvement and on the capacity building and the governance. As part of its many interventions to help alleviate the plight of the poor, CHF International, with financial support from USAID, is implementing a pro-poor intervention aimed at improving access to water, sanitation and hygiene in Nima, Aveno and Aidiki in the Accra metropolis, as well as Kojokrum and New Takrade in the Sekendi Takrade metropolis under the WASHAP program. Mr. George Yanori is the project director for WASHAP. The water access, sanitation and hygiene for urban poor, WASHAP. It's a three-year funded U.S. sanitation and improve hygiene and sanitation behaviors amongst the community members as well as strengthen local governance and capacity building of all the stakeholders involved in the project. The Water and Sanitation Board is a committee set up at all project sites to serve as a link between the program implementers that is CHF and the beneficiaries that is the local people. Mrs. Rosina Gajaku is the chairperson of the Ayidiki Water and Sanitation Board. Basically, Water and Sanitation Board has to do with a, a group of people in place to monitor the projects in terms of water and sanitation in the community. So we actually oversee the implementation of uh, sanitation and water in communities in Aidiki. In fact, WASHAP projects have been a savior to the community because um, in the past the community was very dry. We didn't have water. Even though uh, pipelines are in the community, the population have actually outgrown and um, people have to travel so long distances to get water. In terms of sanitation, we have a lot of homes that haven't got toilet facilities. And uh, through CHF, with funding from USID, we have been able to put up a lot, as many as about 97 toilet facilities in community members' homes right now. Mr. Oscar Tego is also the chairman of Aveno Water and Sanitation Board. It has been very beneficial to the community because now people have individual toilets in their homes. Then a lot more are uh, under construction. You know, people are eager to have toilets in their 
homes now because sooner as we hear AMA will be facing out uh, this community toilet it will basically for uh, visitors even though else will have toilets in their system and as CHF has actually helped people to have this thing in their house then water you know it has helped people to have water for everybody you know everybody has at least a standpipe in his home we shall now hear from some of the beneficiaries now your bread will be a bread or toilet because time you are here line up for public toilet sometimes ever call now why am i to at times so ever come so cry no now i queue or they go queue nippon dosu the now your brain will move but this is what we have to and i'm there so i'm going to need baby i'll go be and then i had dream pa especially i did not be in future in puna will be a genuine go ho be so or bought some small who be no i want to know yama not cancer for so a disturbing but we buy any day a boy and papa the best a four to five thousand So look at in the bar one now. We can say we we can do what we can. We just must say we are the governor. Yeah, we are going to get it. Come on, we are going to have fun. Eh, because we 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 can do what we want. We can't have money. We come in the abin the zamu iduka. Come on, when the chakar can buy a munga duka. Buy in jidan gakwa. We can't have any jidan. So we can soon have fun in the room. Saya tu pakai pemu dia, mu yang dimain pan. Ef ef saya kuat si, saya nak kubur sulu. Ef mu kau ber thirty seven, saya jam four no, ef ber hospital no. Ef mu kau kau hobi kau kau pen sulu, ef ef mu kau flat house, ef mu kau new town, buat ef kau kau kumilam ni no, ef mu kau kau pen sulu. Ente ama school four no, ef mu kau school kura. Saya tu pakai pemu saya, mu kau lalu ef mu kau school. Ef saya bawa bawa kau abe bano, na. Akuwa na waele, tuo ni mimi kuskul. Inti usuo na ba hana abuaye pa, abuaye. All this couldn't have taken place without the contributions of all the other partners, particularly the people at the community level. Everyone needs money in order to grow or develop their business, and that is why YSF is there for you. YSF is Youth and Social Enterprise Fund. Under the Wash Up Project, we are in charge of the business development services. What we do is that we build the capacity of entrepreneurs through basic business management principle, record skipping, costing and pricing, how to relate to your customers. We focus on water-related businesses. So those who are into water-related businesses such as hairdressing, food vendors, um, toilets or sanitation like toilet facility water vendors we are there to assist them we are at Aidiki, Nima, Aveno and then SDMA we are at Kojo Chrome and then New Takradi we have supported a lot of small and micro scale enterprises who are into water related water and sanitation related businesses we also train um, water and sanitation board members, public latrine attendants, and then public water vendors as to how they should maintain and then manage their businesses. Professional Network Association, uh, known as PRONET, is an, is an NGO. PRONET initiates and implements varieties of activities to support communities to improve their living standard through the use of portable water point. We construct and um, improve latrines as well. Uh, we also build water kiosks as well.
Now, on the WhatsApp CHF WhatsApp program, on the deliverables, we are to build private and public toilet, public latrines, and also connect water into many homes. We also build. We are. We are also building um, water kiosks as well. I think somewhere May 2010. Uh, CHF contracted RoadNet to implement WhatsApp programming in Kodokro. And after the program, that is, it was about six months program, that is for the first phase of the WhatsApp. After the six months, CHF also contracted RoadNet to carry out nine months program in New Takradi and Kodokro. And at the moment, we are in the third phase of the program. For the WhatsApp program, uh, RoadNet and, and CHF have, have collaborated a lot and we have carried out the program. And uh, looking at the first phase of the program, that is from May up to September, RoadNet constructed about 20 household latrines in Kodokrom. We also constructed 10 seater four flush latrine in Kodokrom with hand washing facility. That is the first of its kind in the Western region, where we provide public latrine and then we provide chambers for hand washing facility. Within that program, we've also connected 50 household latrine to, that is the pipe system, the government pipe system, through the JWCL uh, uh, pipeline and then we also constructed two water kiosks in Kodoko. If you look at the first we see now 4,958 people benefited from the WhatsApp program, which represented about 13.7% of the population of Kodoko. As a BCC specialist, what I do is to give technical support to HFFG, which is implementing our BCC comp com uh, component. And um, I make sure that what they said they would do in their proposal, they are doing it. And when they need any capacity building activities, I make sure I give them the capacity that they need, the skills that they need to be able to do their work. Our activities are not only in behavior change communication, we are implementing the WhatsApp project in a very integrated manner, making sure the hardware is available and also the behaviors we want them to change are also promoted. So we have the water access, uh, improvement of water access, improvement of sanitation situations in the communities. We have the business development services, that's the third component. We have, of course, the behavior change communication component. And then we have the capacity building component where we improve the capacities of um, the state-owned organizations and the public institutions who we work with to be able to do the work that we want them to do better. Before the intervention, the two communities, Kodokrum and Utakrade, where most, mo most of the community members were using open species and then along to differ kids and also in the evenings most most of the committee members also use the beach as their, as their means to to eat themselves and in the area of water delivery there was also there was also the problem of having to trek so many distances to fetch water and even where where water is made available, it's also made available at a greater cost to them. They have to rely on supply from water tanks at a price far above their average income. For now, Kodokrom and New Takradi boast of new toilet facilities which cater for the population of around 28,000 people. They have water points where most most schools children go there to fetch water to at least quench their thirst and i would say the community the, the two communities are grateful for the whatsapp project and 
they, they will be willing to be in that project so that Akundam come. The assembly is grateful to CHF for this partnership at the initial stage that we started dialoguing on how to put all this program into fruition. We were doubting whether at the end we will have such a wonderful resource. But here we are, our two communities are now hosting of first class facilities which most of the other communities which were not part of the program wish that they will also be rolled on. So we will we'll plead with CHF to also bring on board many communities so that they can also have good access to potable water. We didn't have water at all in the system of Nima. For example, when it's the drying season, we face a lot of problems with water. We go far away before fetching water. Maybe a grand old old person, old people, they face a lot. In fact, for us, I think it's far better than the old person and the children. The